Hi friends, it's Dr. Glenn, your WordPress security fanatic. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to show you the most common tool that hackers use to uh, begin investigating your website. How? What are they looking for? They're able to scan your site, look for some very basics to see if you're a good candidate for them to spend their time on. And why would I do such a thing? Well, you know, a couple of years ago, I did a video or uh, a year or so ago where I said I wouldn't show these tools. Um, things have just gotten really bad. And if you go to YouTube now and you type in how to hack a WordPress website, all this stuff comes right up on top. So anybody that wants to know can know. Uh, there are no secrets that I'm giving away here. Uh, these, This is the most popular tool. It's called WP Scan. A person uses it to uh, sniff your website and check everything. And I just want you, uh, my uh, visitors and, and um the like to to see this. I want you to, to see how this works. So uh, let me share my screen so you can see what I see. We're going to go over to uh, one of my servers and we're going to use this environment to test so that I don't have to use the uh, primary workstation that I, I use for my regular work. And uh, we're going to open a terminal window. I've already installed the uh, WP Scan software into this server so it will run on the command line. Uh, sorry, no fancy animations and movie quality, uh, no dramatic music. This is uh, this is the real stuff here. So uh, here is the code that I'm going to execute. Now, first of all, I, that when I execute this the first time, it's not going to work. And, and that's because my websites are protected. Um, it, it says the remote site's up. Uh, so you can frustrate these kinds of tools. However, there's a small workaround that gives you a very limited amount of information if... Uh, even if you have uh, some protections in place. But uh, let me just uh, turn off my protection so that uh, you can scan my site. And yes, we are scanning my site. Uh, don't ever scan websites that don't belong to you, uh, that you don't have uh, permission. I'm only scanning the website that I own for demonstration purposes. So, you know, no harm, no foul here. Uh, so be right back. Okay, well, you barely knew I was gone, right? Uh, all right, so I have, in fact, uh, turned off the protection that I have in place. And we'll go ahead and uh, reissue this command and get it started in here. I'll just go ahead and make this window nice and big so you can see. Now, this will take a couple of minutes to run. So I'll just get started and uh, let it get, get going here and then... I will pause the video for a second so you don't have to wait for three or five minutes or however long it's going to take uh, for this. Now, you can, uh, when you issue the command to start the thing, you can make it a lot more aggressive. Um, and I, I kind of have a, a shorter scan running in order that um, it, for the video purposes. And also, after this video is done, I'm going to run another video sometime very soon where I actually uh, use tools like this to show you how. Uh, to break into a website using the brute force tool. And so uh, same thing, uh, it's out there on the internet if you want to find it. So it's not uh, it's not not secret stuff. All right, let me pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, absolutely painless for you. And here we are back in the seat. So let's look and see what we found out about my particular website, fixmyhackedwebsite.com. Well, we got the IP address here. Um, we can see that um, uh, it's using PHP 8.0.28. Interesting information. If you were running on a, a vulnerable PHP version, it would show up here, and then you would know that you could attack the website by PHP. So those of you that are on older sites or sites that just don't force the updates, like you know the big, some of the big ones really do that. Um, you, you could easily get caught up in that. Uh, yep, we're using Lightspeed, absolutely true. And, uh, you know, it tells you how it's finding this information and what the confidence is, um, what's the likelihood that it's true or how many times is that a false positive. In this case, it's it says it's absolutely 100% true, and it is. It is. We uh, I only use the very best in my servers. So uh, it is, in fact, Lightspeed, which is the best server in the world, way better than Jinx and Apache and all of those. Uh, it found a robots.txt file. 
And uh, we talked about that file and some of the other videos that I did. But if you were a person who was curious, you click on that link right there and it gives you the link. And then you can go and you can see what parts of a person's website that they actually don't want the search engines to investigate. Uh, it found a couple of README files, and if it had found some other ones in here, it would it would have said that. This is a particularly clean site because of what I do for a living. But if you had a, 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 um, a file that was sort of a stray file that could be exploited or written to or the like, uh, sometimes they come up in this report and makes it very easy for a person to uh, hack into it and abuse it. So if you have a sloppy site and you're not cleaning up after yourself on a regular basis, Something to think about, my friends. Must use plugins. Definitely people want to know uh, what's going on with the must use plugins. And so it is uh, checking that out over here. It is checking the uploads directory to see uh, what can get away with. Um, now, of course, my website has additional security hardening codes uh, throughout. So some of this is going to look different. Your results will vary. Um, uh, it's not given up too much, but some of these uh, will look different on websites that are easier to hack. The external WP con, cron is enabled. So uh, interaction with the cron, uh, something that hackers definitely want to know if that's something that's uh, available for DDoS attacks and so forth. And uh, what ver version of WordPress are you using? 6.1.1. So we are, in fact, using the latest one. But you know what? If you were using an older, vulnerable uh, version of WordPress, it would pop up here and it would look red down like that vulnerability does. And it would uh, just tell the person, right? It'll tell the hacker, uh, here is how you get in there. And as a matter of fact, um, as is demonstrated right here, so here is an unauthentic authenticated blind SSRF. So I left this uh, vulnerability so that this uh, particular video would be a little more interesting. Uh, what is this? Well, this is a vulnerability for which there is no patch. There's no, no uh, way to fix it right now. It's very common. Uh, uh, that, I guess that's not true. There is a way to fix it. There's a snippet of code that you can put in your, in your um, website, uh, which I normally have that will pre prevent this. But in terms of uh, a general patch where you could just click the up update button on your website and fix it, that doesn't exist yet. Um, it has to do with the way that the database parses links. So um, in, a person could click on something and it could uh, execute a command on the server. And then before it, it checks the uh, bind again, uh, a person could try to slip in the middle of that call. Uh, it's a very complicated attack, but it is possible. And so and there's more information right here. And so this is one of the things that I wanted uh, you to know. A person doesn't have to be a genius to hack into websites. They can uh, run something like this on your site, uh, take a look and see what's going on. And then in many cases, if there's a vulnerability detected, this uh, wonderful, helpful tool that anybody can get uh, will give them links of where they can find out more information. And some of these links actually will contain uh, information on how to um, abuse the vulnerability and break into your site. So isn't the internet just wonderful? It gives all kinds of help to people. Uh, the WordPress theme uh, in use is Divi, and that's true. It, Divi by Elegant Themes is actually what I use. Um, and here's it saying uh, that Dr. Glenn has not updated it. So it is just a tiny little bit out of date, but it is telling me that it's out of date. Well, I'm Useful information. If you're very far out of date, if you're so far out of date that you're not um, that you that you have a vulnerability, it's gonna let the person know um, how that how that is. And so it actually shows the link to the styles CSS. So that is the link to my cascading style sheet. And uh, sometimes there's plenty of information in a style sheet like that that can lead give clues as to how you can break into a website. So isn't that nice? Um, okay, so it's asking for vulnerable plugins. No, None of those were found. Uh, well, that's a good thing. And uh, vulnerable themes, no uh, vulnerable themes were found. Excellent. Uh, however, if I, if I would have run the command to uh, test this site that was a little more aggressive, it would try, it would probably have found any inactive plugins that I have. All right, it looks for uh, database exports. 
it tries to uh, deal with media issues here and uh, and it looks for users and it says uh, what are the users and so what it's doing here by an aggressive method is it's um, act, it's uh, it's going through the API the XML RPC and it's brute forcing the author IDs and in particular the IDs number one through ten the first one is your almost always your administrator and the next few are almost always uh, any administrators you added to help you with your website so it's trying to find the usernames of anybody that uh, is in that first group. And, and you can expand this to do more, but I just did the one through 10. And so uh, here it is, Dr. F uh, Dr. Glenn Dash Fan, right? Uh, this is in fact an administration account on my, uh, on my account. And here is a login that goes uh, also, just Dr. Glenn. So isn't that lovely that people are always asking me, how did they get my username? Why are they trying to brute force into my account? How did they even know what username I'm using? This is how they know, because they use a tool like this, and it gives them the chance to uh, brute force, and the database tells them. Uh, WordPress helpfully responds to the query and says, oh, this is what these are the, the first 10 usernames on your account. So uh, definitely good some good ways to thwart that. Uh, if you just installed WordPress, you could go ahead and advance the ID from um, number one to 486 million, and then uh, they'd probably be out of scope for any of this stuff. But there you go. Uh, so there is a uh, manage WP uh, hooked up to this only because um, I was testing that and the uh, the rest of this information is is very basic. So let me stop sharing that and get back with you for just a second. So a as you can see, you can find out a heck of a lot. Now, if you had a messy website and I were to go scan it, I would find out a lot more information than you're gonna find out about my website when you scan it, because uh, first of all, to scan it to even start, you have to, get through my security and uh, even and there like I said you know it's not foolproof there are a couple workarounds for people that know what they're doing but even those won't give up much information so I didn't have much to hide in terms of uh, this video so I could scan my own site and show you what it said but uh, how do you think your website would do you know would it respond uh, at all and if it did respond, would it tell people all your dirty secrets on your website? It probably would. And so be careful. If you have been hacked and you need help, reach out to Dr. Glenn. I'm here to help you. You can catch me on my website at fixmyhackedwebsite.com, or you can uh, follow links from that website or over to uh, Fiverr or go to fiverr.com slash Dr. Glenn with two N's. And uh, I am here to help. Now, if you want me to run this particular scan, uh, on your website that you own, uh, you can uh, go over to the Fiverr and talk to me about that. And I'll do it for a very small fee. And then I'll make a little video like this for you so you can see what I see. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I'll be back to show you how to hack in using brute force. So check back sometime soon for that video. I'm sure that you'll find it very interesting.